Hello everyone. Sorry, my camera would not flip and then I realized it was on a lock after, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's been one of those days. But either way, I am excited to be here uh, to, of course, uh, share some ideas centered around challenge number five, um, which is to play friendly with other products. So really, I'm just gonna share some tips and ideas general ones that maybe you've seen or haven't seen before um but qelene's products are designed to play friendly we of course love to play to create and that involves playing um, with other products as well um, in the mix of hopefully your qelene tools and designer templates anyways jump on say hi i'm pulling up your comments on my laptop before we get started here to make sure that i can see you guys for the most part and you guys can see my, me as well and then I'll fix my screen here so that you can see all these, these layouts that I just kind of pulled together really quickly here. Yes, hello, okay, perfect, I can see you guys. Hello, hello. So how many of you guys have done a few of the challenges so far? Hopefully you've got a chance to check out some of those challenges. Um, you can learn all the details as far as what we have planned. Here, I'll actually put that in the comment. It's um, over on our website at qelane.com slash 12 birthday. So I'm gonna put that in the comments so that you guys can grab that if you haven't had a chance. Um, over the weekend, we kind of started, kicked it off. And so hopefully as you go about this week, you're able to find some time, um, make some time actually. I always say that because it's naturally, we always say that, but we don't find time. <laughs> we definitely don't find time. <laughs> You have to create the space and time for a little bit of creating R&R &R that you enjoy um, that definitely infuses into the other aspects of our lives that we are constantly as creators creating. So, all right, okay, I think we're, we're set and go. So as I mentioned, uh, Kiwi Lane's products, you know, the Kiwi style, of course, you can see here on some of these layouts. Yes, <laughs> Tubby, this was our, my 30th birthday. I went and um, just rustled through. I thought, you know what, I'll share some tips, um, but I thought I'd show some layouts too. And this one I picked out because I remember I had these stickers sheets when I did this layout. And so this is a good example of utilizing some of those stickers that can look a little flat and dimensional. But um, as you can see here, I placed them um, in various different layouts in this layout creation. Even this right here was a sticker. And I used the foundation of the designer template tools to kind of build around those. But it really, um, I guess in a way, brought kind of a quality look to basic, your general stickers, nothing fancy in this case or anything um, out of the ordinary, but using those stickers. So if you have a stash of stickers, pull them out, incorporate them into your layout creations as you play to create with the designer templates. And um, then they just kind of add a new life to them. So instead of maybe placing them sporadically a lot on your page, utilizing the designs that are in the designer templates as you come up with that creation for your layout, and then um, infusing some of those stickers into your creation as well. This layout is one of my favorites still today. I love this layout probably because I love the memory so much. Yes, it was my 30th birthday. That's been a while, but it was a super fun day. So lots and lots of fun memories there. And it's bright and happy, so I love that layout. This one, um, I think we made it into a sketch challenge once too. Anyways, it's just a fun creation. Um, so on this one, general general things, guys. You guys know here, if you've been in the KiwiLink community for a while, we highly encourage you one to play friendly with your paper, for one. The designer templates themselves, as far as scrapbooking um, goes, we designed with hopes to really take advantage of the beautiful patterns and colors already inside of our paper, so our paper stash. Um, and then after that, what we've learned and discovered over time is that we were able to incorporate some of these buttons and brads or you know little enamel dots here and there but it doesn't take a lot of those other excessive embellishments now if you have them kind of similar to the stickers it creates this kind of foundational place for you to pull in those elements but not have to go 
um, or depend on them so heavily to kind of set the mood and, mood and vibe of your creation. So again, I utilize some stickers here. Um, and then for this one, just random buttons. Like, you know, you guys have probably done this before, but just buttons in the corner that really doesn't have a rhyme or reason, just more of a pop of color. And that's always fun. That's a fun way to incorporate some of those stashes that maybe you have um, into your next creation that you personally are doing. So again, this would be for challenge number five of our dozen days for a dozen years that we have going on as we kind of count down here. So, um, so hopefully you have fun ideas with those different ways. Okay, even washi tape. I actually forgot um, pulling some of that out again in your creations as you go about really utilizing what you have because we're big fans of that um, here at Kiwi Lane. And then of course, just making sure that you're playing and having fun along the way. So just a random little thought I would just share. So like I tore some washi tape here and then um, just placed it upon along those edges that you can see there. Um, nothing little, nothing crazy fancy, even just there and there, just since I have it, I remember when I created that layout, just being like, oh, yeah, let's see what I could do with this. And that's really the goal behind this challenge number five is just pulling in some things and um, seeing how you're inspired to incorporate those into your creation. And um, excited to just kind of see what they not only inspire you, but also to use, utilize them, right? Utilize them in your creation. So this is another really fun layout. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's just five pictures, but those five pictures tell a lot of the story that's happening here. And so I really wanted them to kind of shine through, but also I still wanted a really fun, clean layout that um, reflected that mood. So I kept it very light and airy for the most part as far as the space goes, um, but not too bright but definitely still color in it. And I think that's why I probably even just incorporating some basic little buttons uh, floating around there, almost like skipping rocks, right? Like just a kind of random thought there. Um, this is another great thing of just um, utilize, I don't know about you guys, but boy, did I go through a huge phase of these sticker sheets. Now, I'm a big fan of utilizing a title or some kind of mood. Um, not on all your creations, but for me, I'm always looking for something to kind of um, center the the memories around. And so whether you are customizing your own title with your stickers, thickers, in this case, I used a collection of different ones, um, whether it's your silhouette or your, your Cricut machine, if you're cutting out some fancy titles on those, incorporate those into your creation and utilize them with your designer templates. Um, but, or like the title cards in the Kiwi Club kit, that's kind of where we transformed. I love the stickers and I remember buying a stash of them, but boy, isn't it annoying sometimes? <laughs> you can get where you, you end up missing like all your A's and your B's and, or your E's and all of those vowels. And <sighs> so for me, I, when we ever we create the Kiwi Club kits, we really try to add some meaningful titles that can be incorporated in different themes and across the board and so but with that said if you have those again incorporate them into your design play friendly with a few other products that maybe you haven't pulled out for a while if you need to dust off um the dust or whatever right no i i could flip through this like crazy but those were just a few even on this one i remember um yeah just a lot of the little enamel dots I actually went a little bit more excessive on this one because I had like this strip, but I didn't want to use um, this strip as it was. Like it was like a full strip. So I cut it into pieces um, and placed it around the page. So hopefully you guys, that makes sense. But yeah, I just kind of placed that around. So, okay. I'm not going to, uh, if I get, if I get stuck on memory lane, I'm going to go there for <laughs> quite a bit of while. <laughs> So we won't go too far into the books because this live will never end by all means. So um, have fun. You know, Debbie, Debbie actually is in the comments or was, 
Um, she's really good at these details, but just again, you don't need much, but incorporate just some of those other elements if you have them. If you don't, um, by all means, you don't need them either. But we do encourage on challenge number five to think about ways that Q-Lane's products um, in general play friendly with other ones. We encourage that, of course, as creators ourselves, we, 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 you will have other elements. And so seeing how they can work together hand in hand or um, create that foundation as I was just sharing with you as well. And now, this is something that we noticed really early on is stamping. I'm not a huge stamper in the sense of like a pro or <laughs> it's not like my first go-to, but I have stamps and I remember when before QE, I'm talking way before QE, um, I would go to stamp something and some, most of the time it was met with fear or you know frustration and the sense of not knowing exactly getting it straight or anything um, in that manner that sometimes it can happen. But what I ended up doing was my process for stamping was taking advantage of the designer templates and that they were clear too. So you guys probably have seen this, but if you haven't, let me give you a little overall view of what I mean there. So say you wanted to have this in your card design or your layout creation or any project of that manner that you might be working on um, where you want to utilize this design in our template in that creation, right? And if you have your stamps, pull them out. They can be a lot of fun to incorporate into those those shapes and sizes of your designer template. So what I end up doing with my stamps is I would stamp them onto my scrap of paper, for example, this one, okay? Then it allows me to kind of even not be so stressed about making it completely straight. And then at that point, because the designer templates are clear, can you guys see that? Might be a little bit hard with the paper that I picked. It allows you to adjust it um, pick it up, align it, however you need on that scrap of paper. And then of course the same process uh, comes into play here. And that is to just go ahead and trace and cut it out. But it's really nice to kind of see through that. Similar to what our photo, our photo designer templates, how we recommend them not only as a designing tool, but as a cropping tool. In this case, you can use them, the designer templates as a designing tool but of course, playing friendly with say your stamp stash, if you have a stamp stash, and um, incorporating those into your overall creation alongside each other. So really helps complement each other and uh, utilize and simplifies some of that process. Um, well, it did for me anyhow. Like I said, some of those common things that I found myself just humming and hawing of, I felt like, oh, oh I. I don't have to be 100% straight per se um, in that initial stamping of that saying or thing onto my paper. So easy peasy, I love it. So easy. So again, if it's been a while since you incorporated those, pull those out, utilize them, um, and then even um, your shape scissors, that's always a fun one too. Just another product that's really fun to kind of dust off those, um, the dust. <laughs> I'm going like way back here, guys. This, this we, we, we played with this plenty of times and you've probably seen different samples in the layouts, but just again, another idea to maybe hopefully spark and be like, you know what? It has been a long time since I've used those. These are really fun to utilize in different ways. One of the common ways, of course, is with our borders. Because they are the side A and side B and it's the one cut, instead of using a regular pair of scissors to cut down the middle, you can use some shape scissors and it just kind of adds a little fridge, fringe to that edge and um, really, really cute in that way as well. So here, let me pull out this scrap of paper here. Okay. And I'll do a quick cut just for the sake of, so you can kind of see that. So again, pulling on different tools that you might have your Stash IB member. Uh, if you guys have been scrapbooking for a while, specifically scrapbooking a while, you know 
that you had statues of these. Maybe you got rid of them, maybe you didn't. Um, maybe you've used them, like I said, it's just another fun way that with the designer templates, um, you could pull on those different other tools or products that you might have lingering around. And what we found is that through playing to create, um, it kind of lightened that to really say, oh, what else can I incorporate? And so often I'll, I'll reach for some other supplies that I have to really take advantage of those. Now with embellishments, I realized I didn't need too much, but still it's nice to build that foundation for them to not feel, you know, like the embellishments, kind of like the stickers that I was telling. Oh, naturally I just picked up my scissors, silly me. So I'm gonna pull out my little shape scissors here, and then we can, you can just follow those cuts. And like I said, it just kind of adds like a little fringe, and you have to go slower with your cuts, clearly. And depending on how good of quality these scissors are, you will want to slow down. But you can see it kind of just adds a little fringe. So another fun thing that you can pull out and that the overall designer templates play really friendly with. So it's kind of fun. Okay, hold on, let me, well, let me finish it and then I'll ink that because I think that's when those designs are really gonna come forward. I am, um, cute, okay. Do a quick inking to kind of see what we're we're working with here. So it just adds, like I said, just a little fun edging. So it's a simple way that you can utilize your borders, um, but maybe incorporate or pull in some of those as well. These are like the cheapo ones that I've had for years. The kids have played with them, of course. Um, but I did end up getting these ones. They're like a chevron, and these these cut really nice. Um, so again, just some here. Let me see here. So you can kind of see what that looks like. So if you want to add a fringe to your next border instead of using straight scissors, pull out some of those shape scissors, and then and then you can use it that way. So, okay. How many of you guys um, have used these little ideas? Love stamps, they are my favorite to use on cards with keyboard templates. Gail, you are awesome at stamping and using them on cards, and they really do help utilize, um, make it simple with the designer templates. And the fancy pearl scissors, yes. Oh, you just yesterday, Gail, I love that. Yes, I keep them in my little working cart here, my shaped little scissors. So they're a nice little simple, basic tool that you can go to, but um, if you have them, if you don't, and you think, oh, that's a fun way to kind of change it up, it's a really um, inexpensive tool um, that you can use right along with your designer templates. So, and be inspired by the designs that you create for that foundational place to incorporate them into your creations. And then, of course, like I just shared this recently, but another one of my favorites is Spritz. So it's another fun tool or uh, product that you can incorporate into your creations as well. And utilizing the designer templates in this way too. So, um, hold on, I'm grabbing a piece of paper. I thought I grabbed one. This is, this is so easy, y'all. It's so easy. But basically you can just take any one of the designer templates that your heart desires. And if you want it, say on your background paper or incorporate somewhere else, then you could just place it right over the top, or I'm sorry, place it right onto your paper per se, and then you would um, take your spritz, oh, come on spritz, sometimes it does this, that's the annoying part about these little guys, here, yeah, we're gonna start again, <laughs> you're gonna test it, you guys. <laughs> I wish I could count on them for sure, but you know, it is what it is. We've all been there, right? But basically you could pick it up and you would have that leftover pattern. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to try it again. There we go. 
So that one's a little nicer and it's spraying, seems like, than the green one. And then just use a paper wipe and you could let that dry, but see how it just kind of adds that little design there. So that is really fun. If you happen to have any of these little, I don't know, spritz, there's different types and kinds, like Tim Holtz has some, this one's a Heidi Swap, the green one is a Heidi Swap. Um, and then of course I do recommend that you wash and I do wash them every time because I don't like when they clog up, but clearly it's still clogged up on the green one. So sometimes it's like that. Um, yes, I need to pull out my old fun scissors out. Super cute. It is. It's so simple and so easy, but a fun way to kind of just change up and lighten up and, uh, your maybe different designs. So, um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can use lots of different products. Uh, the challenge overall is to use two different products with the Kiwi Lane Designer templates to create something since we definitely encourage the play friendly um, and whatever those might be. Um, but it, it won't be hard to think of those <laughs> for sure. Clearly, even just your paper is a product in of itself that you're incorporating with your designer template creations. Um, so those are always a lot of fun to do. And so I was trying to find I did a travel layout where I used the, the Tiny um, Explorer, the plane, and I was trying to find that layout so that I could share it with you guys. I'll try to find it and share it in the community where I used the spritz in the background and it has like these planes kind of going um, in the background. So you can almost create your own background layer if you wanted to that way as well. So. So whether it's stamps, whether it's shape scissors, whether it's you know spritz or buttons or brads or um, whatever that is, paper, uh, I've used fabric, other types of fabric products uh, with my designer templates, whatever that might be, however you find ways to uh, use your Kiwi Lane products along with some other products and play friendly with them and create a design of your own. That is all you'll have to do for challenge number five. And then of course the link is in the details above. So make sure to check it out and then go over there and just post a picture of your creation and, um, and check out all the other challenges that we have too. This is just challenge number five and some ideas and inspiration um, to hopefully get that itch, that itch to go to go play a create yourself a little bit and then enter it into the challenge. We have some really amazing prizes that we're doing random giveaways from all of those that enter. You have till the 25th at midnight, that was standard time. So check out those details to enter any of the 12 challenges. So you can do as many or as few as the challenges that you want. But the key here is just to spend some little time creating, celebrating, um, with us in what you create and sharing it with us and um, I can't wait to see what you guys create as well. All right guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me this evening. We will see you guys in the community and I will definitely see you guys on the 26th of August for kind of our finale event um, at the end of these 12 days that we're celebrating here at Kiwi Lane. Okay, take care guys. Talk soon. Bye now.